All right, what's up everybody? Sorry that today's technology messed with our heads and wouldn't allow us to do this on a live video. We Shucks. wanted to do it on live so bad. But um, apparently there's already two winners. I gotta go back and see who it is. Two people, one person said 89, one person said 91. So we have two winners for today. Luckily it's a digital course, so I'm just gonna give it to both of them. And uh, awesome. Hey, hey, can I get it, can I get it too? No. <laughs> <laughs> See what I can do. Yeah, man. So um, I know this is awesome. So I know you said you had a tip for people that were kind of marketing to their database on Facebook. You want to jump into that? Yeah, man. So uh, one of the things that people do, and, and so the, the first trick, of course, is a pretty obvious trick, and that is uploading your database into Facebook to create custom audiences to, um, pro to basically to, to advertise them, to market to them, whether it be your past clients, your existing clients your your uh, database of prospects that you've generated maybe through other lead sources is to just upload your uh your information into facebook and to be able to remarket to them right and that's one of the things you teach right nick is is uploading that so that you can market to them for a very cheap like you can probably do a buck a day two bucks a day yeah, and totally. and you can still reach all these people unless you have you know a million people in your uh prospect base but i'm assuming you don't so um, but, but the, the, the ninja trick that I've started testing over the last couple months is uploading these lists separately. So what most people do is they'll upload their list of name, email, phone number, all as one file, right? So they're uploading that. And when Facebook goes, they'll, they'll go through the, the list and they'll match them based off of those things. Right? So what I started testing was actually uploading the email separate from the phone. So you're creating two separate lists, okay. uh, custom audience lists in Facebook, in the Facebook platform, right? So, so you're going to have emails that match profiles, right? And then you can also have phone numbers that match. They're not all going to match together. So you're creating different audiences. So that's the first step, right? That's creating different audiences that match within Facebook. But the second tip is to create lookalike audiences off of those, um, off of those audiences, right? So now we have two very similar lookalike audiences, but they're a little different because they have, so they have the same pool of people, like based off of whatever your, your criteria is, maybe you want to do people that have good credit, right? Or people that, you know, have some sort of a criteria that you want to optimize Facebook for. So you upload that list, you create a lookalike audience off of that. And now we have two very, very, very similar but different audiences that you can advertise to so that you're not, uh, you know, basically exhausting your audiences as, as quickly. And so I've been able to, to essentially do that and, and, and have found a lot of success in doing it that way because, again, I mean, uh, you know, it's all about having different audiences to test. And, and sometimes the phone list works better than the email list. Sometimes the email list works better than the phone list. You know, it's just Facebook optimizing for, for stuff like that, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, totally, man. That's pretty smart to, to separate. Like, do you have any ideas why having the, the lists be uploaded separately is like creating different results? I mean, so, so my thought is that because Facebook doesn't, like, not everybody has the, their, uh, so most people created their Facebooks like what, in 2007, 2007, 2008, whenever, at the beginning, right? And so maybe they use their junk email from middle school or, you know, their, you know, four emails from like four emails before. Right. So it's not, they're always not going to match up. So a lot of times their phone numbers you keep for a lot longer, I think, than, than emails. So I think what's, what's happening is Facebook is matching the phone numbers to specific profiles. And, and they're different than the, the emails that are matching, right? Because not everybody has the same email and phone number that's matching up in, in uh, Facebook. So we're creating two different audiences just off of the custom audiences. And then that extrapolated over, you know, 15 million or 20 million people is going to create a different audience, uh, a different but similar audience based off of the characteristics of the matches uh, on the phone list and the matches on the email list. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Totally. Okay. Yeah, that's a great tip for sure. Yeah, because I haven't even been separating mine out. So maybe I should go in and try the same thing, you know, and try to do them on two different, two different lists like that. Well, and, and, and what I've noticed is, especially at scale and, and what, with what you're doing, uh, particularly more, more so for your Legion of Loan Officer stuff, not, not necessarily for the local stuff, is that'll work really well because you're going to be dealing with larger audiences of similar type people um, and you, can, you, you don't exhaust them as much, right? So you're doing like 7%, 10% lookalikes, 1% to 2% lookalike audiences, right? And just testing which one of those audiences work best. And they're just a little bit different. Um, and I, I do find that there's a little bit of a... <laughs> of a difference in, in uh, the way they, they, 
they perform as well. And so sometimes I'll upload like a thousand, a uh, thousand emails and a thousand uh, phone numbers. And then like a couple weeks later, I'll have another thousand emails and another thousand phone numbers that I'll go ahead and upload again. So then I can keep moving on into different lookalikes that are very similar to the, the original, but they're just different, a little bit different. So you're, you're tapping into a different audience, right? Because not everybody lists their job titles on Facebook or lists their, their specific interests. Um, but when you can do these things based off of the, their characteristics that are similar, it's, it, you're able to tap into new audiences that way. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, man, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely one that one that I'm going to go try today, you know, because I think, like you said, I, maybe it'll give me even a better results on the audience that I can go target. So that's a super, right. super great tip. Awesome. Right. If, uh, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to do that? And I just reach out to me on Facebook. I mean, that's really the, the, the easiest way, man. I get a ton of emails and stuff like that. So Facebook's probably the best. Message me, comment, whatever. Um, Facebook's the, the way, I, I don't know, I'll spend way too much time here yeah, <laughs> on Facebook. Doing that. Um, but I mean, email, they can reach out, luke at paragondmg.com. So that's luke at p-a-r-a-g-o-n-d-m-g.com. That's Paragon Digital Marketing Group. Uh, and that's just a, another easy way to, to reach out. Don't do any awesome. Twitter or anything like that, but uh, Facebook or email would work too. Cool, cool. How many leads do you think you generated in the last 30 days? I think we're at right around four to five, four to 5,000 um, between wow. mortgage and health insurance leads. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, yeah, if you guys need anybody on the done for you side, Lucas definitely has a really awesome agency helping a lot of loan officers and um, insurance agents right now with open enrollment, getting ready to close. It's been crushing open enrollment. I've been watching, yeah. watching that side, man. It's been awesome to watch you do that. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been exciting. I mean, and, and doing this long form stuff, people are, people are getting excited because uh, they're, they're selling at higher, higher premiums and stuff like that too than they used to because, you know, when you're, when you're doing stuff through Google and, and all those sorts of avenues, you're getting a lot more competition uh, because people are putting in their, their information in multiple areas and so they're shopping you versus Facebook. It's, you know, someone that's not really looking and they're like, oh, well, that could work for me. Let's, let's check it out. And they're not really shopping at that point. Yeah, totally. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Sorry the technology failed us, but hey, at least we were able to get this recorded so we can get the value sure. out there, man. So for sure. thanks for sitting out in the cold uh, there in Tahoe to, to shoot this with us. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, man. Talk to you later on. See it. Yeah, good one.